Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Ijoma and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing how much pharmacists in turn get paid in Nigeria. So I got a suggestion of someone asking me um, how much if like pharmacists in turn get paid in Nigeria and Funny enough, when I saw that comment, I was like, I was about filming. It was part of my content um, ideas for future content ideas. Like I had it listed down somewhere in a book. And I was like, when I saw it, I was like, and I thought about doing that video around that time. Like that was in November. And when I saw it, I was like, okay, this is a confirmation to just get this video. Yeah, as the answer to that question. But before we get into this video, if you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? I'm a lifestyle content creator and a pharmacist. So I make pharmacy videos and um, life in Abuja in general. So if you are interested in videos like this, make sure to subscribe and just go to my previous video and watch and enjoy yourselves. Okay, yeah, so I think we can get right into the video. But I've gotten questions in the time pass for consigning like this area, other areas in pharmacy when it comes to foreign pharmacists in Nigeria. And some of the questions I've gotten is, is it compulsory to do the internship? Um, the answer is yes and no. It's yes if you haven't. So upon graduating, you are supposed to undergo a one-year compulsory internship that one-year compulsory internship you undergo shouldn't it mustn't take place in nigeria you can as well undergo that training in the country where you schooled or you can do it any other place aside nigeria but you must have a proof showing that you have already undergone an internship training and if you can just show that proof you can go straight to um, your service year so you just do the um nyc one year nyc and then yeah and you're done so but if you haven't done if there is no proof to show and you haven't done a one-year um compulsory internship then when you get to nigeria you still have to you have to go the, through that one-year training and by the way even if you have done the internship before I get this question so do we have to write the exam the license exam see even if you have undergone um, an internship training outside on, on getting back to nigeria you still have to write the exam every foreign graduate whether you are from where, wherever country whatever country i mean whatever it doesn't matter as long as you're coming back to nigeria for that period of time and you want to use your certificate you have to write that exam and that exam the second at least to my third question right now is if that um the exam you write the license exam you write is the permanent license to work in nigeria no that license the, the exam you write is just for a temporal license until you have gone through the internship then you are eligible to write the second um license exam which will give you the right to the permanent license which you have to renew every the contracts that you have to renew every year i have not written down yet so most times we most times most people write like after their internship year why some people write during their service year why some people wait till they're done with their service year so it just depends on you but during your um service year you would not get the same amount you got during your intern year in such a way that um you don't get the same amount so like let's say you, you get half the price you were you get half the salary you were getting during your internship year so as a pharmacist intern you have to understand that um you would work in, you can choose to work in different um, sectors Either that you work in the federal parasite house or you work in the um, state hospital, there are um, federal hospital, state hospital, national hospital, then there are um, parasite houses like NAVDAC, PCN, NIPRID, then there's pharmacy, there are pharmaceutical industries and there is community pharmacy. And also, I think there are some private hospitals too that are accredited because you have to make sure that those are accredited. I think I stated that in my one of my 
past videos another thing another fact or truth reliable fact or truth is the salary the salary is not always the same in every state so you have the the salary differs even in a federal person or like federal hospitals now the amounts you'll be getting here in abuja will be different from what someone is getting on those states or what someone is getting in a good state you understand what i'm saying so there are some hospitals that have accommodation so you can get be lucky like national hospital in abuja has accommodation for pharmacists and even other medical interns and um some other hospitals too gogola that teaching hospital i know has accommodation but not just uh, just not every hospital has accommodation and in nigeria you get paid monthly as a civil servant you have entry level then you have you go levels by levels and the higher you go the higher your salary so intern level intern internship is like at the zero ground that's the zero zero ground that's the entry level if you work in a hospital you have to know that uh is either you work in a federal hospital state hospital or teaching hospital if it's monthly you'll be making around um 120,000 naira 120,000 naira yes in a month like plus or minus because maybe before or after tax it should be like maybe 118 or so or 116 then if you're working in a teaching hospital i think you're making around the same um salary i think state teaching and federal hospital you'll be making around 120 national hospital i think they make the pharmacy center make around 150 thousand naira if not more now because i heard that i think it has been increased they pay more than other places but it's so competitive to get international hospital because so many people want to go there because the benefits are huge. You get accommodation, it's a neat place, you get, you know, it's cool. It's a national hospital for crying out loud, so it's cool. But then, you don't have to stress to get there. Try and put your leg everywhere so that anyone that pays you enter. For community pharmacy, um, you, get to, you get paid around 100,000 naira with some benefits like <sighs> hi guys so uh yesterday i couldn't finish the video i was making because the um page saying took off the light and they didn't bring it in time and today i tried filming and i just found out that my clip broke but that's by the way i knew i was almost done with the video so um teaching hospital pays better than federal hospitals i believe most times it's usually from hundred thousand and above depending on the state you are it might be lower and it can be higher i'm holding my phone in my hands now because the phone clamp got broken so thank you all for watching and i will see you in another video please make sure to like subscribe and let me know what other suggestions you want for the next video thank you all for watching and don't forget to subscribe See you again. Bye.